Selamun Aleyküm Arkadaşlar Nerede O Eski Öğrenecekler serimizin başka bir videosunda hoş geldiniz Ben Murat Can Çelik Bugün Uganda'dan misafirimiz Doktor Saka Mustafa ile beraberiz İnşallah kendisi bizim sorularımızı yanıtlayacak Uganda'daki tıp fakültesi hayatını, doktorluk hayatını, sağlık sistemini İstanbul'a hangi aracılıkla geldiğini, neyin aracılığıyla geldiğini, her farklı nasıl tanıştığını İnşallah bize anlatacak Sorularımızı kendisine yanıtlayıp başlayacağız Yes, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nasir Sin, I am by the names of Dr. Saka Mustafa from Uganda. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to be here in Istanbul, Turkey. I came purposely to visit some of my friends and also some of my former teachers for finding out a better way to do my masters inshallah in Istanbul and also tour the beautiful city of Istanbul which has a lot of Islamic history and the world history. You are a doctor so you have a, a medical school life and uh, now you, are a, you have a life as a doctor so uh, how uh, you decided to be a doctor and how was your medical school life, how, uh, which school did you uh, go and uh, could you please tell us about this all? Yeah, thank you Murechan uh, for the question. The reason as to why I chose to be a doctor from my country, we, by the time I wanted to join medical school, we had very few doctors in the country. And I wanted to be part of the struggle to help lives better of the community. And following uh, the various wars that were in my country, many of the doctors and educated people had fled to various parts of the world. And also, uh, I happened to be one of the person who was treating my mother at her deathbed, and I realized it was not easy because doctors could not easily be accessed. So when my mother passed on, I took it upon myself that inshallah one day I also become a doctor. So this formed the basis of why I decided to, co to take on the noble profession of medicine, to learn how to save lives. And each time I treat someone and they feel good and their health is restored, I feel satisfaction that I've added to the world and I've made the world better. Uh, how did you meet with Hyatt Foundation? Uh, were you a doctor or a student? When were you meet? I met Hyatt Foundation uh, through IMA Uganda, that is Islamic Medical Association of Uganda, which subscribes to Federation of International uh, Medical, is, in, in, Federation of Islamic Medical Association. My Ima Uganda gave me a chance to represent the medical students in a camp that was for students which was in Makkah, Fima Umra camp. So after doing that camp, I got more interested in working with uh, the international Muslim students' bodies because I met a lot of friends from various countries, uh, including Turkey, mm -hmm. Britain, uh, Asian countries, Malaysia, mm -hmm. even in some other Arab countries. Uh, this was very important. Countries like Palestine, mm -hmm. Jordan, mm -hmm. and others, and other African countries too. We are represented South Africa and also Kenya. So with that, I got to know about Hayat. I got to know about different Muslim associations and uh, FEMA. I was glad also to meet uh, one of uh, the various elders in these associations, particularly in Turkey. I got to know about Professor Isan Karamani and also uh, I got to understand the concept of also the Green Crescent. I got to understand uh, the concept of Betim through other professors that was in Turkey. And I got a lot of information about other Islamic Medical Association in other countries. So that's how I got in touch with FEMA and Hayat Foundation. However, also in my country, 
Hayat Foundation has a lot of work it does with various mm -hmm. organizations, even my former university, Islamic University in Uganda, Bib Medical School, mm -hmm. they have always been donating some mm -hmm. items. So this IMA Uganda, IMA Uganda, uh, doing what kind of projects or activities in your country? Can you mention about this? Yes. Yeah, IMA Uganda, there are a number of projects that we do and they are very interesting. Uh, during my student life, we used to work with the elders and do medical camps. This is one of the most famous activities the student like. We go to the periphery or upcountry areas and we try to treat uh, and give medical advice to various uh, people who cannot afford to get good health. Most of the times we have donations of uh, drugs, common drugs, that, uh, can, that, that can help in some minor diseases that can be, uh, minor diseases that can easily be treated in a camp. Mm -hmm. At times we do some surgeries, we go with some surgeons mm -hmm. and we do uh, that work in the peripheries of the country. So this creates a bond between the adults and the students. Also, we do career guidance. Career guidance, uh, you help mentor the young ones. We introduce the people who have no hope of joining the medical world to come and join the medical world. There are very few uh, cardiology, neurosurgeon, and uh, also they are in different sectors, nephrologists. So we are still lacking in that. So that's why, again, now I uphold my dream father that I need to find something to specialize in to ensure that I can also add my efforts to the development of my country. But this in partnership with various friends in the world. And that is the importance of FEMA. Mm -hmm. So because of FEMA, because of maybe Hayat, because of maybe Islamic Medical Association of Uganda, because of maybe so many other organization, you find that it is now easy to link up with fellow professionals from different parts of the world to help you get better. And inshallah, as I specialize, I also empower other colleagues to specialize, then we can definitely shape our societies. Not only Uganda, but I know even in Turkey and other places of the world, they have their own health challenges. And if they are able to use the concept of FEMA, especially the Muslim community, uh, especially the young ones who are studying, especially uh, the ones who have not yet gone back for specialization, to ensure that they take on to this dream, so that as a Muslim professional body, we can be able to work hard and make the society better and make the world a better place to live with good healthcare system. Uh, so I know that you have a sort of exchange it was a period of two months. Our university, Islamic University in Uganda, Habib Medical School or Medical Faculty, selected 15 students who had performed well in the medical faculty. Uh, they were given an opportunity to come to Turkey. That was Istanbul, Medeniyet University, Gustave Hastane, Gustave Hospital. We managed to come 15 brothers, uh, brothers and sisters. And Alhamdulillah, I was lucky to be amongst them. And I was the team leader. So we managed to share a lot of experience in the surgical field where we saw various operations, we attended ward rounds, and it was a great experience because we were from Africa and we are so glad and happy that when we came to Istanbul to work with the patients at the hospital, they were so open, they were okay. We worked on them. We would freely interact with the patients we interacted in different surgeries as students. And in the surgical field, uh, we did most of it was about observership and getting inspired. So it was a very good experience. Of course, 
as a student, we are excited about the touring, about the great city, Istanbul, that is in a lot of history as Constantinople. And so the fact was here for us to discover why it was Constantinople and why is it uh, a city of interest like other cities in the world. My first time in Istanbul, when we came from Uganda to have our medical education, we found a very different picture that we had about uh, Turkey as uh, an European nation that embraces a lot of Islamic culture. The Adhan was loud. We found people very friendly. Uh, none of the colleagues faced any form of uh, uncomfortability with the people. We would freely mix in trains. We would easily uh, have meals in a restaurant without any form of segregation. So no form of racism, no form of segregation. This means a lot and this meant a lot, a, a, a lot for us. And we thought that this was really good. This was something good to make the world better because as humans, as Muslims, we are one world. And I would like to implore the rest of the world that it is very important to know your history because your history will, save, will, will, will shape your future. So any Muslim, any person who is interested about the future of Islam in the world, there are three or four major countries you need to know about. Uh, it is very important for you to know about Mecca and Medina that is in Saudi Arabia. Understand it very well, its history. Understand very well the history of Palestine. Understand well the history uh, uh, of Turkey, particularly Istanbul. So, as a Muslim nation, as a Muslim Ummah, this is very important for us. We need to work together as a Ummah for a better future. So, thank you for your uh, answer. Your, your words were very important. So I would ask my last question to you. What would you like to suggest, what would you like to say to the medical students uh, who are watching you right now in Turkey, from Turkey or from international area? Uh, please. Yes, thank you, Murachan, for the question. My one thing or two things I would like to empower the medical students that when you are in medical school you need to work hard academically to ensure that you excel and then number two it's not only academics that will sell your potential but also involve in community activities it is very very important because as a university student you inspire so many young ones there who are yearning to come to university and just like we know that a university is the future of the world many things that change the governments in different ways researches all of them are done at the university so as a student you need to choose your priorities as early as possible involving community activities volunteer activities activities that do not require money but activities that need humanity being able to serve those in need serving the poor, serving the vulnerable, serving uh, the various parts of society. And lastly, about that point, uh, you will pass on one day. But what is that one thing you will be proud of that at least you've added to the world? It will begin when you are a student. It is very, very important because as a student, you have enough time Yes, you may not have enough time like you think, but you have enough time. When you qualify, the goal will shift. The goal will shift to looking for money or for looking for your survival. But if you have been doing these activities, they later become part of you, and then uh, you will continuously be helping and shaping the world. And this will give you enough exposure. And whether you are in Turkey, whether you are in Britain, whether you are in Uganda, whether you are in Saudi Arabia, everywhere please think global because we are umma
We are a community. We are the world. So don't think only about your country. Think about others. Just like I came to Istanbul. Thank you your, for your good words and nice answer. Uh, is there anything that you want to add or say? Or I'm going to finish the section. Thanks for the kindness. One last thing. I had lost my way when I was traveling in Istanbul. An old woman decided to walk with me after showing her my Google map of where I was going. She had to walk with me for a period of 10 minutes. This was kind of you, Istanbul. Alhamdulillah, it was a good lesson, not taken for granted. May Allah bless you. Thank you. I don't know the name of that old lady, but it was a very kind action. Thank you so much. Nerede öğrenci öğrenciler serimizin bu videosunun da sonuna gelmiş bulunuyoruz. Doktor Sakan Mustafa'ya değerli katkıları verdiği cevaplar için teşekkür ederiz. İnşallah bir sonraki videomuzda görüşmek üzere. Allah'a emanet olun. Sen bekle daha Veysa abi gelecek misin? Buradan koşacak mı? Aa, Aa. trenden de söz geldi. Yarım saattir. Yeah, I like to